uh, hi everyone and welcome back so in previous couple of videos i have already recorded like 20 videos on aws serverless and now we are going to talk about some miscellaneous topics like you can write a simple full stack application with the help of uh, serverless like api gateway using lambda and dynamodb here we are going to talk about some miscellaneous topics which we have missed and i will also add some more videos before going to the developer associate course so there are a lot of things going on on my channel regarding aws there is already a playlist which talks about aws practitioner course okay just a mock test if you already good at aws services you can go through them second playlist was about aws serverless and these videos i'm going to add to the same playlist okay so here we will talk about serverless a little bit more and then some miscellaneous topics about aws like s3 cloudfront route 53 ec2 auto scaling and all these things okay so we have already done understood the api gateway uh, lambda how to trigger the lambda cloudwatch logs you were able to see and the dynamo db to read and write the data right now we also uh, talked about authorizer on api gateway we have seen that you can actually create a custom authorizer which can validate your which can validate your request if it is already authenticated request having a proper authorization header okay that we have already configured now we will see how to write that lambda and on top of after doing this because till now what we are doing we are going to the aws console writing code and doing everything but that's not the only way you can also set up a ci cd pipeline you can do a lot of different things you can use this serverless which is a framework which will help you to uh, write the code and deploy the lambda through the yml files you don't need to worry about going to the the lambda console write the code there and then deploy create stages all these things so serverless frameworks takes care of a lot of things in background it creates this cloud formation templates and actually create all the resources which you need like dynamo lambda cloudwatch api gateway and everything and it will give you the final output because serverless means write code not to worry about the resources okay so serverless framework is giving you all the liberty to do all those things okay so I, I will just divide these couple of videos into the multiple sections first we will talk about authorizer lambda then we will talk about this serverless framework which is really important if you are doing this uh, writing these serverless lambda and all then you might be aware about how to automate the deployment process how to write it cleaner way individual lambda either using some framework like serverless framework where you can deploy the rest apis using express in nodejs you can deploy individual lambda through serverless framework okay so here we are talking about this authorizer lambda so first of all what is the use of authorizer lambda consider you are sending a request to the api gateway now api gateway have to validate your request with some third party okay this token is valid either firebase o0 or uh, maybe OAuth, some oath provider or social auth provider okay that this token is valid and has been granted to access this application so you will basic authorizer can have some logic to call that service get the grant okay this is fine this token is valid and then you have to return a policy from there to the api gateway saying okay allow this request to invoke this particular arn okay this is what this authorizer lambda is doing and if you are configuring it on the api gateway resource then all the request will go to this lambda you can also log something on the cloud watch just to just see how many requests are failing or how many requests you are getting which is like passing invalid token or something okay and then you are invoking your web app uh, la some lambda which is talking to your dynamo sqs sns anything right or invoking another lambda okay so what we will do is first we will just go into the code of this authorizer lambda step one step two is we will talk about how to invoke lambda locally using serverless framework and how to write it how to deploy all these things we'll use this serverless console to do a lot of different things okay so stay tuned uh, i will be posting more on this thing 